It's time for another stock review, full analysis. Oh, we just got a subscriber right there. Big salami right at the beginning. By the way, we're making this during a live video. So if you do comment with a crypto chat or something, it will read it out on the screen. It's martinlucas.com forward slash tip. It will read it out. AMC. We're going to do a full review now. In the next few minutes, well, I say about 10, 15 minutes when this video goes out, uh, you're going to see the balance sheet, insider trading, who's buying on the inside, who's selling it, looking at the margins. You're going to look at the overall, uh, the, the, the whole financial position of the business. We're going to look at the, the news. We're going to uh, show you the sentiment. And, and we're going to run all these figures through our really exclusive, pretty incredible software using the latest algorithmic software, which will give you... Um, uh, intrinsic values, base case, best case, uh, worst case, and a whole uh, other list of things like scores, like solvency scores, should you buy the stock. This isn't financial advice, but it is based upon numbers, not emotions, and taking all the facts into account. You're also going to see, have a look at the website, going to look at uh, comparing it to a full back test using our software to compare it to the S&P if you were buying it. The, uh, the whole works. This will hopefully give you information that you need to decide whether this is right for you. So if uh, if you're new to the channel, please click subscribe or ring the bell and give us a thumbs up. The reason why I ask you to like the video is it shares it out to more people. And the other thing is, if you tap the like button, I can pretty much guarantee Virgin Galactic is going to go to $100. You can get one of my special Virgin Galactic to $100 t-shirt and mugs, by the way, if you want and you join us uh, and you look below or be beneath in the description for one of my links. Anyway, let's go straight into it. So over the next uh, 10 minutes or so, we're going to take a look at a few things. I'm going to show you uh, I'm going to give you a look at uh, this website here. We're going to have a little look at the investor relations website and see how they present themselves. It is important. It is important to see how a company represents itself. I do strongly believe that. I'm going to go into a very, very basic version f at first of the stock so you can get uh, an idea of of how it actually looks from a basic point of view. Then we're going to go through it in uh, in much much more detail, looking at uh, the uh, looking at alpha alpha spread for our intrinsic values, the all the fundamental numbers, the balance sheet, the efficiency of the company, the scores. We're going to go for all of this in detail. The Wall Street analysis. We're going to cover all of that for you as well. So all that's coming up in a minute, and uh, we're also going to show you. I'm just giving you a little preview of what you've got in store over the next 10, 15 minutes. We're going to run a back test for you as well so you can uh, see how that looks. And that hopefully will give you uh, the information that you need to be able to invest in, in this particular stock. Okay, let's get straight into it without further ado. And uh, we need to break it down nice and simple at the beginning. What is AMC? And uh, of course, we all know, hopefully you know, it's a Reddit, uh, a Reddit uh, success story. If you want to call it that, I'd call it more of a scam. Of course, Matt Cause triumphed it. And now he's a superstar on, uh, on, um, on uh, YouTube and of course on... Um, What's the name of the channel that I'm on every day? I can't remember the name of the channel that I'm on every day. Uh, it's called it's called Rumble. There it is. He's a big star on Rumble because he promoted this stock. And uh, anyway, we're going to talk about that in a minute when we get into what it is and whether you should be in it or not. Okay, and how I feel uh, regarding this particular stock. So AMC, basic. And we're going to head more detailed as we go down through the video. So stick to the end if you want to get the real meaty stuff. AMC, theatrical exhibition business through its subsidiaries. It operates through the US uh, markets and international market segments. The US markets involved in owning, licensing, operating theatres and screens in the US. I think we've said enough there. You basically know what it is. It's a cinema uh, business. You've all seen it. You've probably been to one and so on. It's CEO'd Adam M. Aaron is the, is the CEO, employees 33,000. 
694, headquartered in Kansas. Yes, Dorothy, uh, you are not home anymore. 1920, it was founded. It's been around for a while. Maintenance margin. If you're buying it on margin, it gives it a high risk. Not maximum of 100%, which is the highest, 25 being the lowest for something with no risk at all, well, relatively no risk at all. But uh, maintenance is 70%. So it's regarded as somewhat high risk. Market cap, 1.62 billion, uh, loses money. We all know it loses money. We'll come on to that in a minute. Uh, doesn't pay a dividend. It's a growth stock. Average volume, 23 million. Today, it's 5 million. The markets are pumping. My, my portfolio is exploding because I've bought undervalue, profitable companies. Everything's up. Interest rates are coming down in the spring. I pre- I've been predicting it for a year. At precisely that time, we're going to get another p- pause, another pause, and then we'll get the rate hikes, sorry, the rate pause uh, pivots in the spring. But no one's getting involved in AMC. Well, there might be somebody talking about AMC today. And of course, we're talking about those on Reddit and we're talking about Matt Kors. He triumphed this stock like... um, we all remember Roaring Kitty Triumph GameStop. Some people want to get famous out of um, out of sucking into the blood of people that uh, are greedy, want to get rich quickly without any effort whatsoever, and they make videos uh, knowing that uh, people want to buy and get rich really quickly. And uh, there's a, there's that hunger and greed and desire, and those people can make money out of that. And I think it's disgusting, quite frankly. But good luck to them. They make money out of it. But I would never, ever, ever promote something with no fundamental value at all, a, a, basically a bankrupt company. Um, but there you go. Uh, that's my opinion on, on, on the personal side of things. Okay. We've looked at the uh, the basics. Let's go a bit more detail. Uh, no one, no analyst worth its salt. But of course, uh, Matt Kors says, says so. He says you should buy it. Um, no analyst says buy it. Not one, not one, not one professional analysts would say buy it. They are saying hold it now though. Okay, well let's look at the balance sheet, how things have improved. Analysts have been uh, pretty uh, spot on with the company. Analysts, remember, uh, give the expectation, not the company itself. The analysts do it, and there's and you've got to be very careful. You can go on to CNBC every day and look at the news on on the business channels, and they'll tell you to buy a stock. And if you do your research, which takes time, takes some time and digging, you'll find a lot of analysts are influenced to promote certain stocks. I am not. I say what I think. I'm not here to sell videos. I'm here to give you the information. That's it. I want to be known for the guy who's the most honest person on YouTube TV, not just some an analyst who makes up stuff uh, on numbers, but is also persuaded to be a certain direction. Anyway, uh, as we can see, the company have been improving. Been improving, of course, because COVID's done with and where people are going back to cinemas, but uh, it's not like it used to be in the olden days. Uh, we're nowhere near. In the days of the 1930s, everybody was at the cinema. Now, today, it's a bit different, but... Um, we're all at home watching our Netflix. Anyway, uh, I'm not. I haven't got time. I'm too busy creating TV to, to actually watch it. Anyway, we are seeing things improved. And the latest uh, estimate uh, estimate was the stock would lose 38 cents per share and actually uh, lost nine cents a share, which is a big improvement. Things have improved. Um, but as we can see, it's a very volatile stock. This was all the fun and games back here when it popped and dropped like a stone. This was this. This is I should write Matt cause and read it right across there, really, shouldn't I? Now, what you have to remember is um, when you hear success stories and of, I was right, I knew what I was talking about, look, follow me, get rich, you only ever hear of the success stories because they're the only ones who are encouraged to keep going, making videos. Those that lost all their money got no voice. No one listens to them. They might write on Facebook. They've got very few friends or Facebook isn't showing it. They're not doing anything on YouTube. So there's no real big trend of videos saying I lost all my money on AMC or GameStop. You never hear that, but you do hear plenty of videos going, I got rich and I made money. But of course, for it to get that high, somebody bought it up there. There's somebody running around now uh, who hasn't got any voice whatsoever other than they can speak on my channel. Of course, everybody can speak here. But uh, they, uh, they're, they're running around going, I've got no money. Well, others 
are going, I made loads of money. Well, a handful of people made money, millions lost money. The stock is way too volatile, way too unproductive to be an investment for me. So even before we review the stock, I will tell you now, I I won't buy a single share of this unless someone gives me a super chat and says, there's 10 bucks, buy it. Then that's you wanting me to buy it. Let's look at the people that invest in this company. This is important. We're going to go in depth in a minute. We're still very light on the surface. GameStop. GameStop people buy this, not investors, gamblers. GameStop. That tells you the volatility and the intelligence of the investor. I'm not going to call them investors. I'm going to call them what they are. Gamblers and and, and speculators. Uh, uneducated, not taking any time to research the stock, following a YouTuber or a rumbler and just thinking this guy is going to get me rich. I'm not going to use the the word that begins with S because it gets me in trouble on YouTube and especially on TikTok. They don't like it, but uh, you know who you are and and, and you are, quite frankly. Um, you, you've we were all born with a brain. Uh, feed it with information and educate yourself. Don't feed it with nonsense. So GameStop uh, gamblers buy this. So rubbish. Blackbreed don't know nothing about nothing about it. SNDL not very um, pro that company either. Don't know anything about Centric Centro. Don't know much about Nokia, but of course it's one of the past. I'm not so sure it's a stock for today. Neo, uh, one of the worst Chinese manipulated stocks on planet Earth. So it gives you an indication of the sentiment of the stock, what sort of people buy it, what sort of people think about it. So straight away, it's a, it, it was a no before I even started, but it's even a bigger no right now. Now, before we go into detail... Let's look at the presentation uh, of the investor for for AMC. How they uh, how they talk to their investors. This is the investor part of the website. It's important because presentation is everything. I always like to review the way it presents itself uh, and the way it conducts its business. This website looks pretty good. I would give it a, uh, maybe a, a five or six out of ten at most. Um, it's okay. We're not going to go into depth with this. I'm just want to give it uh, a quick look there to show you. You can go and look in more detail if you want to. It just gives you uh, an impression of the uh, the way the business is portrayed to the investor. Uh, and, uh, and we have seen some very bad websites where literally there's no there's no um, investment done to present their business to to their their um, their uh, investors. So it's important to uh, to talk about that. But we're now going to go back now and we're now going to go into some real detail and then we finally do a, 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 um, a comparison with the SNP because you should always compare what you're investing in with something else uh, so you can justify if it's a good idea or not. Otherwise, why are you buying it? Just randomly picking stuff out of the sky. Right. This is... Uh, this is um, our analysis here. I've just given you a glimpse over it, and now we're going to go into it in detail. Intrinsic value. I'm going to give everybody a warning here. You cannot just use intrinsic value on its own because you can have what's called a value trap where a stock appears to be cheaper than it actually is or some metrics are missing from the company. Uh, Virgin Galactic, for example, doesn't have all the metrics that we want yet because it's not making profit yet. Uh, There are other companies like that. So be very careful. Intrinsic value is not a go to buy. Many people use it as that's it. I'm buying it because it says undervalued. That's not what you do. That's what um, people who want to pump it will do. Like Matt Kors, for example, will go, it's undervalued, everybody. It's got a short squeeze. We've got short interest, which I will come on to in a minute. Um, It's not the way to make uh, sound investment decisions. Base case, best case scenario, 90% uh, undervalued. Oh, let's all buy it, right? Um, looking at the base, best case. Of course, things are improving. Rates are coming down. People are going back to the cinema, but not in the numbers they used to. You've got to look at that. You've got to do your research. I'm not going to go through every single bit of every uh, detail, but you need to do that yourself. But I can just tell you they're not because I've looked at it before. Base case scenario. That's where we like to measure it. 85%. Sounding great, isn't it? It's worth $54. And how we come to these numbers 
is when we run all the numbers through our, our algorithm, so we run, we look at the profit, the balance sheet, the debt, and so on, we can work out what the actual valuator of the company is. It's not a guess. It's not, well, we're guessing it's $54. That's the base case of where we actually think the stock is worth. That doesn't mean to say it's going to trade there, though. The trading at the value of the stock is very different than the value of the business. Very, very different. Worst case scenario, it's still undervalued. So it looks pretty good, right? Uh, everything sounds pretty exciting. Uh, the price today, uh, $8, $8.17. Intrinsic value, 80%. DCF, 31%. All looking great. Wall Street's target, 34%. Positive gross profit. The business is now doing a lot better than it did during COVID. No question about that. Is it still an investment for you? Well, we'll find out in a minute. Valuation history, 361% profit. Current valuation, 85% profit. Price and value correlation, 6%. That's at the time that the price and the value correlated together to give you an idea of the stability and the volatility of the stock. Okay, we can see uh, when it was uh, of good value. There was a little moment here before when that was in 2021, just here. This was definitely not a time to buy it. But of course, this was the time there that uh, those promoting nonsense said it was the best time to buy it. Of course, let's all buy it now, right? Well, some poor sod owns it up here and he's never going to get his money back ever in a million years. Uh, right now might be considered a, a, a good time to buy the stock, but again, hold on. Valuation, intrinsic valuation is not everything. We need to look into some more detail before we join the bandwagon and buy a t-shirt with I love Matt Cause on it. Poor old Matt Cause. He's probably a great bloke. He just doesn't care how he makes his money. All right. <laughs> I can't help but tell the truth, right? It is the way I was born. Right, fun <laughs> fundamental analysis, the financials. Okay, as you can see here, 4.3 billion, up 4%. You can see we had a big dip here. Uh, we're now improving. Things are improving. That's very nice indeed. If I get some more detail here and give you some of those dates, you can see here when it went all the way down into 21. We can see what happened there. Of course, this is after COVID. Everything fell away. Uh, the company were in trouble, in debt, spiraling and so on and so forth. And now it's going on. And if you can see here, we've got analysts predicting a very slow curve, nothing returning uh, to its past in the previous years. So it is improving, but uh, you know, it's not, it's not what it used to be. Let's be honest. Operating income down 226 million. It's up 30, it's up 31% uh, over the last, uh, uh, over the last range. Net income, uh, minus 741 uh, million. Uh, that's an improvement of 15% over the last range. And you can see how it's uh, how it's improving. Net income is improving uh, over time. Uh, free cash flow, uh, you can see there. Operating cash flow, 460.2 million, an improvement of 12%. Okay, nice. Let's now go into the balance sheet. This is why I won't touch it with a barge pole. However... Don't listen to me. Go and uh, follow somebody on Reddit. 8.7 billion in assets. Lovely. I wish I had 8.7 billion in assets. However, 11.3 billion in liabilities. Long-term debt, 4.8 billion. Now, of course, interest rates are going to come down, but, but, they're going to stay up for longer. We've got a lot more pain yet for um, uh, for AMC. And this is the most important thing I could say, probably, over this whole review. And that is this simple thing. By the way, I'm watch if you're watching this during a live video, tap the like button. We're making a video, a review from one of our members for AMC. So tap the subscribe, ring the bell, and smash the like button. It will share it out to more people. Most important thing is... The economy is six months to 12 months behind the stock market. What is happening today on the stock market is we are buying the future price of stocks. We're buying the future of the Fed report. Whereas the Fed put pressure on the market to drive the markets down to try to reduce inflation. That's now being felt now, even though the market's going up, by the consumer. We've got Apple now reducing the price of their goods. We've got the pain being felt now and next year and way into the end of next year for consumers buying stuff, 
going to the cinema, going to AMC. Interest rates are going to come down. That's why everyone, why everyone's buying in because everything was oversold because we want to be in the market when it goes up and when we get a pivot, right? That's why everyone's buying in. However, the consumer, the man on the street, he's feeling the real pain for another six months to a year. Rates are still high for him. Inflation is still high. Inflation and things are still going up. They're just going up slower than they were before. They're still going up though. Okay, so AMC with a huge amount of debt like this, way more than its assets, which is a very bad balance sheet, obviously, is going to be suffering for longer. So is it a good, I mean, I don't buy any company that got that have got more liabilities and assets. I mean, that's bonkers. I mean, that's just, that's just asking for trouble. I just won't touch it. I'm not taking that sort of risk. Uh, it doesn't make any sense, especially with rates and as high as they are. Long-term debt is crippling and will continue to cripple um, uh, AMC or anybody else for that matter. Right. Gross margins. Now, Margins is important. When we talk about margins, it's the moat, the moat around the business. In other words, when they uh, sell something, what's the margin then they are they are making? There's the gross margin, of course, the operating margin, net margin. So we need to, you know, before tax, before expenses, and so on and so forth. But we need to look uh, talk about the gross margin first of all. The gross margin, we need to talk about the moat. This is where uh, uh, competition. If you've got a low gross, if you've got a low margin, the competition can crush you because your margins are very small. You need a, a, a wide moat uh, so other uh, other businesses can come in and you know take over and all the rest of it. So uh, their margin is okay, but of course a net margin is not so good. Seventeen percent uh, negative at the moment. You know, not making any money. Uh, if we go down here to the fundamental score. This is now once everything gets run through the software, it gives us a score, helps you decide rationally, not following a YouTuber, whether you should buy the stock. Now, the profitability is 46. As you've seen, the gross margin is OK. However, we've got a lot of expenses right now. The net margins are completely different. But the gross margin, you know, if we could get the debts down, if we could get expenses down and so on and so forth, we've got a reasonable profitability score here, 46. And when you get to Apple, you're seeing 80 and 90% to give you an idea. Some of the companies that we still like, I mean, they're 25 to 30, but they are investing heavily uh, in reinvesting. So there's, their profits are very low. Uh, so there's a potential here. The problem is, though, the solvency score. 24 out of 100. It's not the worst. It could be lower, but it's very, very bad. And with rates the high as they are, I don't like it. I'm not going to buy a company with a solvency score saying they're about to go bankrupt. They're not about to go bankrupt, but they are continually bouncing around the bankruptcy area. That's why they were in trouble. That's why everybody shorted it. That's why everybody pumped it. That's why Matt Cause made a load of money. That's what that's all about. So uh, don't look at this stock as I don't think is an investment for me at all. I don't buy a stock that's, I buy stocks that are undervalued, that are worth more, that are proprietary, that are unique, uh, that have good balance sheets. This has none of those things. So uh, it, it's not getting my score. Let's look at the uh, Wall Street and uh, analyst target. Now, don't forget, when this video comes out, it'll be on Alpha. It'll be on this page you are looking at now, and my review will be on here. Alpha like my reviews for the, for the quality and the honesty, and they put them above CNBC, Bloomberg, Yahoo Finance, you name it. My reviews will be on this page. You'll see them on this page uh, at the bottom. We'll come to those in a moment, what's there now. But if we look at the ups, side, the highest forecast, which we can't say because we've got interest rates at high and it really is affecting AMC, is 145%. Some of you will hook into that and think, well, that's worth a, that's worth a punt. What about the, the uh, average? Well, the average, is it worth it? 35% for such a company with such debt when you can get 15%, 20% on the S&P right now, maybe 25, 30% with everything going the way it is right now. Um, I don't think so. Uh, you can get a 4x uh, on on Robin Hood or 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 you can get um, uh, 100 10x on on Virgin Galactic pretty soon uh, there are many other better opportunities I think out there uh, at a worst case scenario which is more likely you're losing 41 percent 
Well, you know, and there's no dividend here. There's no reason to own it. Uh, the competition, of course. Now, this is what you've got to look at. Netflix competition. Com competition is coming from Netflix, coming from Disney, coming from Live Nation. Roku, not really. Nothing there. Uh, nothing there. Warner, maybe. Uh, and the others I don't know much about. I'm more concerned with uh, Netflix here as potential, uh, a, a potential. But again, I'm not an investor in Netflix because there's nothing proprietary. Anyone can go, I'm, I'll be a Netflix, you know, um, I and mean, I've got my own streaming software, live streamer cafe. I can stream. <laughs> it's not like Netflix, of course, but I have my own streaming software. Anyone can set up streaming software and do deals with certain, with, to play certain content. There's nothing unique and amazing about building a streaming software. I've got one of my own. Um, so I'm not that excited about, you know, about this type of business anyway. Right. Insider trading. Most recent transaction was June the 28th by Antara Capital, a 10% owner a 10% owner, they own 10% of the shares and they sold 27.7 million shares. Uh, they sold it. Um, as you can see, inside trading, they're dumping it. No one's buying it. Um, and that's a reasonable size. A 10% owner has sold 27.7 million worth of AMC shares. Okay. So it's, it's a, it's a no brainer from me. Um, uh, let's have a look. What have we got? Um, AMC, uh, some intro, intimate information a month ago from Taylor Swift. We won't cover that. Uh, it's probably not relevant anyway. Let's be honest. Um, <laughs> Taylor Swift is all over AMC at the moment until tomorrow. Until tomorrow, uh, Taylor Swift, you are number one. But tomorrow, my review will be here and you will see my review tomorrow and it will post up here, as all my reviews do on Alpha. Finally, let's look at the sentiment of the stock. Before we do a back test, your final check on the stock. The back test, well, over the last 90 days, uh, we had some green, some negativity of 35%. The last 30 days, negativity is reduced. Last seven days, uh, negativity is increased. And today, uh, it's uh, 33%. So there is a lot of negativity around AMC. It's not worth buying. It makes no sense to me at all. Why you would buy it, I've no idea. So it's not for me. But now we'll do a final back test to give you a comparison. So if you are thinking of investing, you've got to compare it. Take your time to the S&P. It's boring, but making money is boring. Um, doing, digging the ditches. I don't find it boring because I like studying, but some of you don't like to study, right? Let's go have a look. Have a look. This is uh, our back test. So let's have a look at it. We're comparing, I've put $10,000 in the S&P, $10,000 in, uh, in, in, in um, AMC, right? And uh, from 2014 to now, red is the S&P. I've turned 10,000 into 27, so I've virtually 3x. Uh, and uh, AMC, I put 10 grand, I've got 700 left. Uh, pretty rubbish. The only people that made any money were those that promoted it, our dear friend Matt Cause, and anybody who lives on Reddit in the dark of their bed, of their mum's bedroom, of their mum's back bedroom. So um, there you go. It's extremely volatile. It's got a huge amount of debt. It doesn't make any sense. It's not proprietary. That's what I think of AMC. I mean, I, I, I think I've been extremely uh, generous to AMC. I, I think I've been extremely generous to those that promoted it. I could say far worse of things to those that think it's uh, good to recommend to their viewers who uh, support them uh, that it's the right thing to do. But hey, some people don't care as long as they make money, sod everybody else. Well, of course, that, we do the very opposite here. And that's why my reviews get posted on Alpha, the best uh, analyst software in the world, as far as I'm concerned. And, and many agree with me um, because these reviews are honest. There is my AMC report. Thank you very much indeed. My thoughts on it. Click above my head and below. You'll find all the links. During the video, there's lots of little links uh, above my head. You click the eye on a mobile device and you'll find the links or below in the, in the, in the description. And I'll also post it as the first comment 
as well. Uh, unless someone gives me a super thanks, uh, perhaps Sensei might want to do that as it was his video. I don't know. And then it will tag the comment that gets a super thanks to the top and I will pin it. So it will promote the uh, the video as well. And uh, if, if that happens, then YouTube promote the video. Look below if you want the, if you want the link to my uh, alpha. My members can get a free plan uh, and you can get a 10% discount as well. Go and check that link out. Uh, we've got our, our very own page on Alpha, which if you click on it, we'll welcome you. We'll welcome the Lucas Age with a few of our uh, few of our members there, a few of the Lucas Age rogues gallery at the bottom of the page. You can get a 10% discount, which makes my membership free. Over here, you'll find more videos in the series I think you'll enjoy and things you might like around AMC and stuff like that. Until next time, if you want to review, become a member and I, would, I will do a full video like this and promote the stock, talk about it in great detail for, for you. All right, that's it from me. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other. Go Matt Cause. <laughs> I had to put that in. <laughs>